How the Biden administration reacts to the killing of Hamas's top political leaders, saying nothing takes away from the importance of getting to the ceasefire, and it will continue to work at that every day. But now in the hours after the strike, concerns about a ceasefire negotiation have soared. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. So, Owen. Tracy, President Joe Biden's top diplomat, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, says the Biden administration has been working from day one to try to prevent the conflict in the Mideast from spreading. Of course, the big question now is what happens next? The Biden administration says it had not been aware of and had no involvement in the killing of the Hamas leader. And as Israel and Hamas continue fighting, the list of dead and wounded growing by the day, speaking from his trip to Singapore, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says a ceasefire is manifestly in the interests of the hostages and bringing them home. It's manifestly in the interests of Palestinians who are suffering terribly every single day, children, women, men. In Gaza. The U.S. has been trying to keep the fighting contained in what is already a dangerous and volatile region. Whether it's uh, in the north with Lebanon and Hezbollah, whether it's uh, the Red Sea with the Houthis, whether it's uh, Iran, uh, Syria, Iraq, uh, you name it. Ismail Haniyeh's killing in Tehran comes at a precarious time. Senior officials from the U.S., Israel, Qatar, and Egypt were set to meet for the latest round of peace talks. It's always been a complicated process. I mean, my goodness, how many times have we talked about it in the last few months and even in just the last few weeks? I think it's too soon to know what any of these reported events uh, could mean for the ceasefire deal. White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby also telling reporters. One of the things the president's been very focused on is trying to prevent escalation here. That work is complicated and difficult every day, and that includes today. Touring a shipyard in the Philippines, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin discussed the need to keep things from turning into a broader conflict. I don't think war is inevitable. Uh, I maintain that. I think there's always... Uh, room and opportunities for, for diplomacy, and I'd, I'd like to see uh, parties uh, pursue those opportunities. Now, Secretary Blinken has urged the Prime Minister of Qatar, a key mediator in ceasefire talks, to continue working toward an agreement that would secure the release of hostages, alleviate the suffering of the Palestinian people, and unlock the possibility of broader stability. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.